Branson, Josh from Branson, and make it through my circumstances. But you know I'm wise and never just to hide my pound. Got a house in the so I might give a six to my chick. Particular style is the side party, and here is how I can roll for this particular style. The core roll should be very close to her forehead, and if she doesn't have baby hairs or hairs in front, you just add attachments to it and then can roll. We we'll can roll till I almost get to the tip or the end of the hair. That's for the second line of the core roll, and then add the tip of the previous hair to the second corn roll i don't know if you guys get so that the corn roll won't look high or too bulky at the end hi everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in today today's video is on how to sew in without a closure episode 8 i think i'm not sure and if you haven't seen the other videos we advise you to do so so that you can easily understand what i'm doing in this video and subscribe if you haven't share to friends and family and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it you feel Just continue core rolling using the same method just hiding the tip of the previous to the next and then we'll just continue core rolling until there are no more hairs for me to core roll then add up all the tip of the hairs that's for the last one add the two last tips to the last core roll and then core roll it I don't know if you guys get but just watch the video very carefully <laughs> I'm done curl rolling. I'm just using needle and try to hide the last tip of the curl roll before sewing or stitching in the ribbon. <laughs> The hair I'm using for this tutorial and it's a synthetic hair. I repeat to it's a synthetic hair. <laughs> so I don't want you guys to call for me in the comment section. That's why I'm actually emphasizing or I'm stressing the synthetic. The hair is called figure eight and it's three bundles and three different lengths. The webs are single. We'll start sewing the longest length at the back part and then continue from there to the shorter length. I won't really stress much about the back stitching since we are more concerned about the closing and you guys have seen me do this countless times. We'll just stitch until I get to the front part of the client head. And if you want a better understanding, just keep watching the video very, very carefully to understand what I'm doing. But if you are still confused, you can watch the previous videos. As I'm stitching, I'm doing the turnover method at the back until I get to this middle part of the head. While I'm stitching, I'm minding the fact that the hairstyle is a side part. When I get to the middle of the head, we start doing the cutting method, adding more hairs to the left side of the head than the right side of the head, since it's a side pattern. <laughs>
watch this video very very carefully for more understanding as I'm stitching I'm observing the pattern until I'm getting really close to each other that is the left and the right side there will just start will flip the weaver over just like I'm doing a round closing but instead of just doing the round closing when I get to the end of the web we just cut it and then take it to the next line and continue sewing as I'm sewing I'm making sure that I'm forming like a um, semi-cycle and stitching until the cycle becomes very pronounced then we just start doing the round closing method please if you haven't seen the previous videos on how to do a sew in without a closure please our advice like i said before please watch the video so that you understand this round closing method then we just continue stitching cutting making sure i'm not leaving any space as i'm stitching then we'll continue doing so until there are no more space for me to be sold on then i will just cut off the thread <music> here is the final look and thanks so much for watching this video to the end please don't forget to subscribe like this video like give it a big thumbs up if you like it if it was actually helpful for you guys because i'm actually doing this just to help those of us that cannot really afford closures so yeah give this video a big thumbs up like i said before subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment on what you think and what you want to see up next on this channel or if you think the hairstyle is easy difficult yeah i will talk to you guys in my next video stay blessed